Hello, I'm Professor Laura Manning Lee. I am going to be going over some general criteria and specific criteria for instruments. I am one of your preclinical faculty here at University of Detroit Mercy School of Dentistry. And this is for the DPE 8111 periodontics course and this is the clinical portion of that course. Okay, what I want to go over is the Barnhart 5-6 now. The top instrument here being the Columbia 1314, the bottom one being the Barnhart 5-6. As you notice, the real difference between the two, they're both universal curettes. They both can be used anywhere in the mouth, but the only big difference is the length of the terminal shank. Okay, so basically the longer the terminal shank, the more likely this is to go more subgingival. Okay, this one being the Barnhart 5-6 universal curette, starting in the anterior, as if I were to start in the anterior, I would have a neutral wrist, a modified pen grasp, my terminal shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth, and the working end of the instrument, you notice, is wrapping around the tooth, as opposed to this. This would be the other working end going towards the distal, and this would be the end going towards the mesial. I wouldn't have this end angled towards me. The cutting edge is facing me. This would be incorrect. This hugging the tooth would be correct positioning. So starting at the midline, I'm going to just rock on the fulcrum. That's what's creating my working stroke. Rolling to the interproximal and then creating my front to back stroke. This one side to side on the facial, rolling, and then front to back stroke. This you'll notice you can't get as far in a proximal because of the rounded toe. So I won't be able to get very good between the tight contact point. Okay, I flip the instrument, start at the midline again, firm fulcrum and one tooth away from where I'm instrumentating short controlled strokes with vertical strokes to remove the calculus and I can pivot you notice what I did is I can pivot on my fulcrum to adjust the angle of my blade so this would be open this would be too open I need to engage the cutting edge against the tooth so we want to maintain that cutting edge against the tooth and then rolling to the inner proximal. And my finger motion does not create the stroke, and sliding on my ring finger does not create the stroke. Keeping these all together as a unit and rocking on that fulcrum, that's what will create the stroke. 